Good morning, this is Sunday the 26th of June 2022. It is, we in the middle of winter, exactly. And on the 21st of June, the sun has turned around and is coming back to us. So we're excited about in six months time to experience summer again. Welcome to Corpus Christi English online service. I really hope that the Lord will open something for you today and that your heart will be touched and I'm going to share a story with you and I also want to ask you to go and write down and do the same things that I'm going to put for you on paper today when you're at home and later we're going to read some verses out of Genesis 37 and then Genesis 45. But before we start, let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you very much for this day. Lord, thank you that you are the provider, that you are the creator. Lord, that you are bringing salvation to the world through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you bring comfort to this world through your Holy Spirit. Abba, Father, thank you for making us your children. Lord, I want to pray for those that watch today, that you will touch their hearts. Lord, that you will guide them through your Spirit to look in the mirror and to see who they really are because you have created them. And what is the plans that you've put into their heart? Thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. May your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Right, so I'm going to start recording a paper that I want you to see on the screen and we're going to do some writings on that piece of paper and then later as I said I'm going to share with you some verses out of God's word in Genesis 37 and Genesis 45. Now if you look at the piece of paper in front of you you will see that I've got nine blocks, square blocks that I've numbered and we're going to write some words in those blocks and then on the right hand side I've got six lines and what I want to do is I'm going to write my name on the right hand side and when you're at home please and you can get a piece of paper do the same so I'm going to write my name here Yori here on the on the line on the right hand side and and I'll come back to the name section but I want to refer back to the blocks on the life on the on the left hand side block number one four and seven I'm gonna write exactly the same word and let's do that I write the word my Another synonym for the word my could be I, it could be me, it could be my name. You see, my refers to you, it refers to me. Who is accountable for me? Who is accountable for my? What is my story? You see, I am accountable. I am responsible. I can't take my responsibility and put it on somebody else without still carrying that responsibility in life. So on the left hand side, I want to write the word my. Let's move to the right hand blocks, block number three, six and nine. And let's write some words in there. In block number three, I want to write the word time. 
block number six. I want to write the word plan. And then in block number nine, I want to write the word love. And in brackets, the word obedience. So that leaves us with the middle row. And in this month of June, at Corpus Christi, we are journeying with the word jail. And that's the word that I want to put into the top row, block number two. I want to write the word jail. Then I want to jump to block eight. I want to write the word freedom. And that leaves us with the middle block. And yes, you've guessed right. Yeah, I'm going to write the word God. Comma S, which said it means it's God's ownership. Now we filled in our nine blocks. And now I want you to start journeying with me through with these words. But before I go back to the words, let me read to you out of God's word. And I'm going to start out of reading out of Genesis 37. And the first verse I'm going to read is verse 11. And this is from Genesis 37 to Genesis 45. We read about the story and life of Joseph. Joseph was one of the favorite sons of Jacob. And remember, there was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the three fathers, four founding fathers of God's church or God's people here on earth. So let's read verse 11. And I'm reading out of the Good News translation. Genesis 37, verse 11. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. But his father kept thinking about the whole matter. Let me read it again. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. But his father kept thinking about the whole matter matter. Let me just give you some background on that piece of scripture. You see, Joseph was this favorite son of, of Jacob, and he had these fancy clothes that his dad made. So he was like, in today's term, a bit of a, a spoiled brat. And Joseph went out to see his brother, and he had a dream, and he shared this dream with his father and his brothers regularly, and one of the dreams was, but you, my father and my brothers, is going to bow before me, who's Joseph. And that's all. His, 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 his brothers were very upset, and even his dad. And that's why his dad, they actually corrected him and was very jealous of him. And that's why they said Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. But his father kept thinking about the whole matter. So something stuck into Jacob's head about what Joseph was dreaming. And I know if I, if I read the story of Joseph, that Joseph sat next to his father's lap. And his father Jacob taught him about God and about the kingdom of God. That's why I, I think that Jacob here said, it says in the word, but his father kept thinking about the whole matter. Now let's jump. And then we all know what happened to Joseph. He was caught and he was moved to, to Egypt, thrown in jail after, after working at a, at a guy's house. And then the wife tried to uh, 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 lure Joseph into a, uh, some sort of an affair or a relationship. And Joseph ended up in 
prison. There he met, met the guy that was baking for Pharaoh and the guy that was serving him his drinks. And he helped them to teach them about uh, 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 with, God's, with God's vision what they were dreaming. He laid out their, their, uh, uh, their dreams. And then when they went out, they told Pharaoh about this guy because Pharaoh also had a dream. And, and two years after the event in jail, uh, they, actually, they actually told Pharaoh about this Joseph guy and, and, and we know what happened. Joseph was sharing with them, with the Pharaoh, the exact meaning of Pharaoh's dream. And we know that there was a famine coming and Joseph's brothers went down to, to buy some food and then Joseph realized it is, it's his brothers. And then we come to this section in Genesis 45. After Joseph told them Genesis 45 out of the Good News Translation, verse 5. Listen to this. Now, do not be upset or blame yourselves because you sold me here. Yeah. And then he said these words, Joseph. It was really God who sent me ahead of you to save people's lives. Verse 5 and then verse 7 of the same chapter. God sent me ahead of you to rescue you in this amazing way and to make sure that you and your descendants survive. Yo, there the plan of Joseph's life came out, that God used him since he was a little boy to prepare to prepare to protect God's children and to make sure that God's children survive. Let's go back to our words that we wrote there. On the left hand side, my. And I want to I wanna encircle the top sentence. My jail time. Sure. Then in the middle... I want to encircle the next sentence. My God's plan. And then the last sentence at the bottom. My freedom love. Or my freedom obedience. You see, when you in jail, and whatever the jail might be, it might be a an emotional jail time or it might be a physical jail time or it might be a challenge that you're going through in your life. You see, your jail time, you must start to see and it's so difficult when we're in that time to realize, but what is God going to do with this, this jail time? The middle sentence, my God's plan. Because only then, once, once you start to realize God's plan, your freedom, you can live in full freedom with love and obedience. The first three sentences. Let me encircle some other words in our nine blocks. You see, if I draw the circle from the top side down, it gives me the following sentence, my God's love. What did God do for you? He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to love you. And he was obedient so that we can live. My God's love. He loved us so much that he sent his only son so that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. The middle sentence, my God's love. And then the last one that I want to encircle, my God's time. You see, like Joseph who spent time with his father learning from God, 
and then in all those jail experiences, God was a reality in Joseph's life. God invested in Joseph's life. He had a plan for Joseph. And Joseph sat at the, at the lap of God, learning of God. And if we read his story, you know, when, 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 the, when he was working in that servant's house where the wife later treated him badly, we learn that God blessed that servant of Pharaoh because of Joseph's life. When Joseph went to jail and he was sitting in jail, we learn that everybody inside, inside the jail lives changed because of the blessing that God had on Joseph's life. You see, if I write here on the right hand side the Joseph story, I want to close off by writing my name here and call it the Yori story. And if you write your name in there, it could be, it is your story. I want you to, you, I want you to in, go and think about this. What is the jail time that God is, has taken you through or you probably currently in? But then what do you realize that God has got a plan all along like he had for Joseph, so that you can then live in freedom. May the Lord, through his Holy Spirit, give you the discernment to realize that your jail time has got bigger meaning in God's creation and in God's kingdom. May God bless you. Amen.